Steep point. Shelters Bay. We are here. And the water couldn't be any better. So, stoked about that. Just finished setting up camp. Dad, it, it's, it's about to enjoy a beer. Should be all go tomorrow. Put the boat in. We'll shoot out there. See if we can't get some dewies. Maybe use her for bait if she keeps whinging. We'll see how we go. Homework time, Daddy. Yeah. Then what does the after homework mean? Boat. Fishing. <laughs> so, you know how they always say the road in the steep point is rough? It's pretty rough. <laughs> what, Buster just rattled one of the bolts completely loose and this was hanging off the front. Lucky it didn't break any cords, so that's all right. We'll just get another bolt for it in town or want to get home or whatever. But also, this one here, got the zip tie holding it on. It's cracked. That actually happened before we even got on State Point Track. I've seen that at Big Lagoon the day before. And we fixed it, or zip tied it. And when I pulled into the ranger station, the lady's like, oh, your headlights come off and I was like, oh yeah, expect that turn around and it wasn't even that one. So just having a laugh about that this morning. Just having a bit of an oil check and that. We just put the boat in. So ready for a fish. Old man's just taking it for a quick bill. And then he'll be back and then uh yeah, fishing time. Take the drone with us. And fingers crossed. Come on. That's all I've been talking about this whole trip is fishing and beers. I just need the fish. There we go. Wish us luck. Catch fish, buddy. Right, I just heading out on the boat. Gonna head out towards the tip of steep. We're just gonna have a look. It looks pretty rough out there, so see how we go. Not much around the shelter bay here. See if we can run through a couple of lures and a couple of squid. Baby little fish. 
fella. Big boy circling the boat. Where's he going? Yeah. Big fella keeps saying, get all our food. Shark, mate. Don't worry about him when he's in here. Look, look at him, Joy. Woo. That's scary. Scary? Yeah. Can't be that scared. You're still standing up on the boat instead of sitting on the floor. Sharks and shark bait. Sharks and shark bait. You wouldn't believe it. Woo. Right, I back from the fish. No real luck. The young bike caught a couple small ones. We had to throw it back. A lot of sharks out there, so got a bit of footage there of some sharks. But um, just got back to camp now. Just set the rest of the gazebo up, actually, of the camper, just to give the missus a bit of uh, a bit more shade during the day. Really, it's getting pretty warm here. Even though we're gonna have to pack this up tomorrow and move two bays down because we uh, booked another night here. Um, we were meant to leave tomorrow, but we booked another night, but couldn't get the same spot. We've got one, three spots down. So we're gonna pack it all up, move it down. So not too bad, but a little bit annoying. A little bit annoying. But yeah, sort out some dinner. I think we're gonna do like a big seafood night with seafood stuff that we don't really have. Now we've got some squid down that from the other day, so. Got some, uh, we've got some uh, uh, seafood chowder, chow chowder that uh, Ros made up a couple of days ago. So there's some cray heads and all that crap. So should be good. Getting into some warm clothes. It's already cold. It's only early. Right, oh, all cleaned up. It is blowing its ass out here now. So I don't think you'll get much more from me this afternoon. Literally just putting a bit of dinner on for the kids. A bit of pizza in the travel buddy for them. Um, we're gonna have our chow, uh, chowder. Chowder. Seafood, actually no, we're not even doing that now. We're actually having a seafood curry. With uh, some squid that we got the other day. A little bit of fillets off a couple of small fish that the girls got today. And some scallops from, I think they're just frozen scallops anyway, I tell you. So I'm just gonna do that and uh, yeah. Thought I'd just do a quick one. Oil. Yeah! Fresh squid tubes. Chop yeah! that. And done with a bit of this uh, gear. Best gear. You get salt and pepper too for the squid, which is pretty good. Um, but yeah, love it. Just gonna deep, shallow fry this. Deep fry? Shallow fry these. Um, and they should come out mint. Together, put it. Still got each left. bad besides the wind. Not bad.
Hey, what are you doing hiding in here? Staying out of the wind. It's crap out there. I don't like it. I don't like it. These ferals are still out there though. Yeah. It's beautiful, but the weather is just... Con. Weather is con. Yeah. At the moment. Hopefully we wake up to something a bit better tomorrow. We have had... <laughs> Get out of it. We have had like... Good weather. We've had like a little bit of sun today. Yeah, we've had a bit of sun it's today. It's just very, yeah. very windy today. It's windy now. Just yeah. windy in the afternoon. Not very shelter for shelter, babe. Jay, Jay, no. go on the camera. <laughs> Jay, go on the no. camera. I want to see you. Yeah. Hello. Here's Hi. our annoying one. The one that doesn't stop. The one that doesn't stop talking. <laughs> and then the good one. Yeah, he's not too bad. I'm the good one. He's... I'm the good one. He's the talking one. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you're good. You you're, you're, both good. Okay. you're both good. You're both good. Both great. See, look at the attitude. <laughs> Anybody want her? For sale. <laughs> For sale. Cheap rate. For free if picked up from Shelter Bunny. <laughs> you clear. Got them on the go, cooked, ready to go. They are delicious. Kids' pizzas. What have you? Not bad at all. This will be my sign off. Done for the night. Gonna have dinner and do a bit more homework with the young boy. So, see you in the morning. Good morning. It is still blowing its ass off. Uh, it's not too bad. It doesn't look too bad out there, well, if it focuses, but um, it is still pretty windy. It kept, up, kept us up most of the night. Um, just cooking a bit of brekkie, and then we got to move camp today just to up right near that barge, if you can see it. Oh, it's not focusing very well. But yeah, just up near the barge. Um, moving up there today just because we couldn't keep this spot so I might get the drone up and I'll show you this barge getting rid of some cars from the island. Right, so 
got to just run up this hill, send off a couple of emails for work. Um, we're, our camp is there, 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 and we are moving to about there <laughs> for one more night. So we only booked this site for two nights, and we're here. We thought we have to stay an extra. So down there we go. It's still windy as hell, so I think today we're just going to move camp, drop all our stuff off to camp, and then we're going to do a bit of sightseeing around here. We're going to go look at steep point blowholes, um, false entrance, all that type. Right, oh, moved camp. Um, didn't bother showing you any of it. It's typical boring crap. So just about to leave to go. We'll probably go see the blowholes today. Going to go get the old famous uh, photo with uh, the old steep point sign. So, um, and there's a good little spot around the corner here that I've found out is pretty good for blue bone and that. So, we'll give that a bit of a red hot shot as well. We'll see how we go. But, uh, that's some of the plans for today. We'll see how we go. Apart from that, a couple of cold beers and relax. And then off tomorrow. So, we'll be leaving here tomorrow morning um, and start heading our way back home. So, I don't know where we're going to stop on the way if we stop Friday, Saturday and Sunday night because I do have Monday off as well or if we just um, do Friday, Saturday, punch at home Sunday for Father's Day um, and clean the camper up on Monday we'll see where we get it, see where we end up we might find a nice spot close to home and spend two nights there, who knows but the worst we can do is uh, be home by Monday, so that's not bad for me. Hey, Chooks. What's that? Where, where do we think we're going on the way home? See? No idea. <laughs> uh, we got no idea. Uh, where do you want to stop on the way home? we can get to maybe just before Geraldton. Just before Geraldton. Before Geraldton. So on the home side of Geraldton or this side of Geraldton? I have no idea. We're just going to wing it. <laughs> yeah, if we can get to Geraldton ish tomorrow would be good. Yeah. Caravan park around Geraldton? I'm just oh, losing my days. What day? It's Thursday. It's Thursday. So yeah. we're still good. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see where we end up. But where we ever end up, you'll know about it, so see you when we get there. happy that we're on Shelter Bay because have a look at this I'm spewing I don't have me drone up at the moment but I might put it up have a look at this man. Awesome. wait for one of these big waves to come in <laughs> Put the tin in. Get some Mackies. There. Watch this wave come in here, look. You ready, die? No, I'm gonna get wet. There's heaps of room here. Hey. Just wait for that big slug guy. Oh, that was only a little one. Oh, I still got wet though. Getting wet? You're not. That is. There's heaps of room, Bob. 
Should be a good one coming in, hopefully. if you buy yourself. Not bad, eh? Right, oh, so we made it. It's the one that everyone comes for. Yeah, the place our market. Did you have it along the bottom there, mate? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, just peel the paper off. Oh, try to...
Now for the famous photo, I'll probably even get the drone up, try and get a couple of photos from a little bit different angles, so it should be cool. Stoked man, this is definitely on my bucket list. Stoked. Right oh, so that's a uh, big tick off the list, steep point. And the nature's window is pretty cool there too. Got it from a bit of a different angle. Thought we'd get it from the water side as well, which is pretty cool. Now just called into this little section here where all the big hardcore fishermen are. You should see these waves crashing up against here, which is uh, pretty cool. All balloon fishing and that. You should be able to see them maybe. But yeah, pretty cool. Made some big waves bashing up against these rocks. I don't know if I'd be keen enough to be fishing out here. Nah, it'd be alright. Boys trip out here. Once I learn how to balloon fish, would be good. If anyone knows how to balloon fish properly and want to teach me, I'm willing to learn. The old man's already hooked up on a shark. And I think Roz has as well. Just trying to put my bloody shoes on because these rocks are sharp as shit. It looks like we've got another shark on our hands, I think. Nothing big, but still a shark. Same one or what? Yeah, he should have left that other hook in his mouth to find out if it was him. Get yeah, for any greedy bastard, come back again. Hey! Pull him up. Yeah, now the shark now. Nah, it's got the same hole in the wood in its fin. Nah. Nah. It doesn't? Nah. Nah, he's gone pretty deep on that one. No real luck fishing besides a couple of sharks. So, I think that's the only end of my steep point fishing, which I'm fucking devastated about. But um, all good things must come to an end, even though I can't catch anything. But well, how's that for a view? Tomorrow we're going to probably, I don't know, we're literally going to see how far we get tomorrow. Um, I'll know a little bit more once I know, have a rough idea on what time we actually get to Bitchman again. Then I'll have some type of idea where the hell I'm going to end up going. There's a nice little camp, that's a free camp actually on Murchison River, um, which looks pretty good. So I might go there for our first night. But Keep punching a little bit further towards Perth, I'd rather that, but see how we go. Hey, Mama Bear. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see you back at camp. What? Yes. <laughs> Blowing its ass off. So, I'm not going to do it now, is it? The wind. Is that what he does? <laughs> can't, can't see it. <laughs> Kids are crack up.
Pretty cool. So just packing up camp this morning and we're off, so almost done. Just waiting for the business to sort of shit out. Oh, sorry. But yeah, <laughs> we'll start hitting back to Perth. Right, oh, so that's it. Steep point over and done with. Tick off the big bucket list. Um, what an awesome spot. Bit, uh, bit crappy about the weather for the last two days. They, they really blew up in here. But um, still compared to the other side of the island, you can definitely call, see why it's called Shelter Bay. So, uh, well, We've got no idea where we're going now. It's probably the beauty of it. We're just going to see how long it takes to get to the bitumen, which will probably be a couple of hours. And then from there to wherever. I don't know where. Maybe Murchison River Free Camp. There's a pretty good looking one there. If we can get there at a reasonable time, do a decent dinner and maybe get the kayaks out. But apart from that, we don't know where we're going. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Anywhere with the showers. She wants a shower, <laughs> which is fair enough. So... If we can get to Port Denison, we might go to Port Denison and uh, caravan park it. Maybe. Yeah. Then we can do some washing before we get home. Yes. We've got a ton of little washing to do. <laughs> we haven't been, been literally off grid since. Well, Murchison Station was sort of even off we grid. Left Sunday. No, we what? I oh, oh, left Murchison Sunday. Yeah, but Murchison had the showers, so it, yeah, it did have showers. Yeah. So yeah, it just didn't but obviously have the camper itself and all the rest of it. Um, been off grid since Thursday. Yeah. Since we left, we haven't been we haven't been able to plug in the power anywhere. So everything's been solar. Yeah. Um, and just purely driving. The car's not hooked up to the trailer for power yet, so it's all off solar. So we rigged a bloody solar setup thing on for when we're driving, which has been working. So, but apart from that, no showers from um, since Sunday. Oh, we've and had, today's Friday, by the way. We've had <laughs> a little shower. Yeah, a little. Dad's had a little. Um, five liter showers, little one of those little things, but yeah, on the gas. Not a proper shower. Not, not a, a proper shower. Not a quick. It's just pits and bits shower, pretty much. Yeah. Not a proper shower, so. A good shower would probably be uh, not bad. It stinks so bad in here. And it stinks in here because we had two litres of milk pop in the bloody, uh, long life milk pop in the drawers. So, yeah, if you're wondering where the kids are, we left them at Steep Point. <laughs> nah, they're, they're in the old boy's car. So, But, yeah, it's pretty rank in here at the moment due to uh, the milk that popping. Milk. But uh, And that probably popped about three days ago. No, no, longer. Probably started stinking about two days ago. It's because we disturbed it. But we only found it yesterday. So, <laughs> it stinks. It's good. Yeah. Stopping at the server and grab a couple of black eye smelly trees on the way home, I think. <laughs> we'll need more than a couple. <laughs> and then there with your bloody Bissell carpet cleaner thing. Yeah. So. But yeah, we're on our way out now. It's now 8.39 exactly. So, we'll let you know when we get to the bitumen and start airing up. I'm sad to go. Yeah, me too. I mean, it's been... It has been really, really nice here, apart from that wind. That yeah, wind the is wind's a been killer. hectic, man. You should have heard our swag. I think I got some swag. Uh, swag our camper. <laughs> I'm usually, I'm usually in the swag, man. Leave me alone. <laughs> but yeah, I'll, um, I think I got some footage of it, but it really doesn't do it justice. I don't reckon. But last night, about halfway through the night, it went good. It died off. It actually, yeah, I actually got half. I woke up and I thought, look, check the time, and it was like five thirty, six o'clock, and I was like, oh, I haven't been up all night like the night before. Yeah, <laughs> no, same. So, but yep, we're off and we'll let you know where we end up staying. See you when we get there. So, it took us roughly an hour and 15 minutes. Hour and 10, maybe. Hour and 10. You gonna put your head in there or just your ear? Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, about an hour and 10 from our camp to where you gotta pay your fees. Yep. And I think that's only roughly, I have to get back to you, but I'm not sure how many k's that is. Yeah. But I know it's not many. Um, I'm going to say roughly 30. I'm going to put down 30 k's, I reckon. Um, 
But now we've got still this unsealed road for probably another hour, I reckon. But this isn't bad. You can sit on 80, 100 k's, no worries, down through here. Um, and then that will get us to pretty much the turn off to M Monkey Mire. <laughs> what are you sniffing around? Did you touch bait? Nah. I smelled bait too before. <laughs> Monkey Mire and to go back to Perth, so about an hour I'm gonna say. So from off Bitumen to camp, I'm gonna say it's about two I don't know, roughly two hours. Yeah. Thereabouts. And it's not I don't know, a, a lot of people say that the road's really, really rough. I reckon it, it was worse coming out than going than in. Going in. Well, there you go. Um, the ruts were pretty... It's definitely rough, yeah, but yeah. the way the locals talk about it, even when we said, oh yeah, we're heading out to Steep Point at the bakery. They, yeah, well, they, that was like, good luck. Good luck, <laughs> they reckon. And we're towing a camper trailer fully loaded. Um, kayaks on the top. Kayaks on the top and all the rest of the cars, chockers. Um, but yeah, we, as you've seen, we did do some damage. Water tank on yep. the camper and both of my spotties. One bolt has rattled loose, one is and one has snapped its brackets off. So, in its defence, one of those brackets was already cranked before we started this trip. Oh, not before we started the trip, but before we got on this road. We noticed that at Big Lagoon, that it had a crack through it, so we put a zip tie on it. Just so if it did snap off, it wouldn't fall on the road and run it over. But, um, yeah, by the time we got in, the other day, the other one had fallen off and had lost its nut and bolt completely. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it is rough, as you can probably tell from the footage, but it's definitely not, wouldn't scare me off. Like, oh no, I'd it's, definitely do it again. It's not, yeah. I think it's got a lot more torque than even though this camera's jumping around, but don't forget this is just a phone holder. Yeah. Um, all I'm filming this whole thing off phone pretty much. Rabbit and a GoPro, so, and drone. Hello. <laughs> we found one of the kids. <laughs> We've offloaded the other one. And offloaded the other one. But, um, yeah, I, I think it gets a lot more bad height than what it actually is. If you had no trailer or nothing, you'd easily scream through here at 100 k's an hour. Oh, yeah. No worries. Get to the rough stuff, which is pretty much after the pay station, funnily enough. Um, where you actually have to pay to drive on the roads is the worst roads. The road coming in is sweet as, but as soon as you go into the national park where you got to pay your fees and all the rest of it, yeah. the roads are shocking. So I don't know what they're doing with our camp fees, considering it costs us. Yeah, there's a couple of boggy sections to go up the hill, but that's... And they're probably the smoothest parts still, though, you know? Yeah. A couple of hills that are pretty boggy, but apart from that, don't let it scare you off. If you've got a camp trailer and you want to skull drag it in here, skull drag it in here. I probably wouldn't recommend any big, big car, uh, caravans, though. Oh, no way. Probably be a bit rough, the, that. The Maybe some... Uh, tight. Yeah, they are tight. Yeah. Definitely probably couldn't get a big camper out here, but you definitely no. get um you get a nice I don't know one of those Forbes 15 things out of here. No, yeah, I'm just pushing it. I'll skull drag one of them out here. Yeah, I reckon that'd be max though. Probably wouldn't go much bigger than that, I don't reckon. <laughs> but um, yeah. So once we hit the bitumen, we're gonna air up, and then pretty much separate ways with the old man and Roz. Unfortunately, so they're going to continue their trip north all the way back to Queensland. Last time we see them until probably, we head back to Cairns again. <laughs> yeah, which will probably be not this Christmas, next Christmas. So yeah. we'll probably head back over there. But if we uh, save our funds, we'll never see, we might see what happens. We might drive over there and do a trip. But see how we go. Okay, so we just filled up at what's that road out? Overlander. The Overlander. Just filled up at the Overlander. And we made a plan and booked a spot in Dongra. Sea Spray 
Seas Premium Caravan Park. So we booked us a spot there. Um, most of the ones in Port Denison are booked out. Are booked out, or more expensive anyway. And Dongra is two minutes around the corner. So we got a spot there with an ensuite, which someone's pretty happy about. <laughs> um, so we'll go there, scrub up, and might even treat ourselves to a pub dinner, maybe. We'll see how we go, but still not gonna roll in there for another three and a half hours, so it'll be 4, 4.30 by the time we get there. And then, um, yeah, set up camp, five o'clock, all the usual crap. Um, and then, quick look around town, one hook, we'll have a quick look around town. And then uh, probably have some dinner, call it a night. And head maybe home. Maybe. Hey? Someone's too keen to get home. <laughs> I've still got another two days off. <laughs> two days? What's today? Friday. Friday. So Saturday, Sunday. Well, I don't have to be home till Monday. Yeah, no, no. Neither of us do. So we'll see. Maybe I'll drop dump them and I'll keep going south. I'll come. <laughs> You'll I'll come. come. She'll go. Maybe we'll just get rid of mum then. Send mum home. She'll be right after she has a shower. <laughs> she has overrated anyway. Baby wipes it is. <laughs> so yeah, Port uh, Dongra is where we're heading. And uh, where we'll be staying. So we'll, have, we'll show you around Caribbean Park a bit when we get there. and Show you what it's all about. Hopefully our final fuel stop um, in Port Denison. Didn't show you as much last night. Um, we ha had a bit of a shared site, so I didn't want to get the cameras out just for other people's privacy. Um, but not a bad little site overall. The wind kept down, so we actually had a good sleep. Caught it in the pub for dinner, and now we've just caught into the bakery this morning for breakfast. But um, now we're gonna shoot home, I think see what we do mrs is um ready for home so she might drop her off and we might go somewhere i doubt it but might be time to go home kick out for a couple of days before we're gonna go back to work so we've run out of clean clothes too that's the main reason we need to go home and the kids got school so but overall it's been a bloody good trip besides the fishing I'm very upset about the fishing. All I wanted to do was catch one snapper and I couldn't even manage that. So, piss poor effort if you ask me. But uh, yeah, last fuel stop. So see how we go. Righto, we made it home. And this is the aftermath. Crap everywhere. Hose down them soon. Hose down that soon. Empty out that. But um. Been a mint trip. Didn't do much filming today. Just uh, pretty much drove home to unpack this bloody thing. But if you liked what you've seen, subscribe, hit the buzz, uh, all that junk, and uh, see if we can't do a few more of these this year or in the upcoming months even. So see hey, how we go. Uh, you helping? Yeah. Bloody better be. <laughs> Got the burnout ute coming up and couple of weeks for West Coast Nat, so that'll be filmed as well, so big variety. Cheers. G'day guys, if you've made it this far, thank you. Um, I know the audio is pretty bad in this one. The wind was just out of control and I did do most of that with my phone besides a couple of bits of pieces of the GoPro and that even the GoPro wasn't much better. It is an old GoPro, so um, yeah. I've just ordered myself a new GoPro, so that should be here this week anyway um they didn't have any in stock so should be here this week we'll get some uh nice mics going or something or at least a cattail for the gopro just to sort this wind stuff out eh? especially with what we're doing always moving around out in the wilderness um it's definitely going to be a problem and 
it annoys me. So let's sort it out and nail it on the head. Thanks again for supporting us. Um, got a few more things coming up. We've uh, done the Captain Fawcett track since we've been here. And while doing that, I lost a GoPro. So I'm halfway through editing it. Um, I'm even not sure if it will be put up on YouTube just because I've lost so much footage. But if it is, that should be coming up soon. Plus, we've got a few more burnout comps coming out soon if you into the if that's what you're here for. So that should be good. Got a couple of private events coming up as well. Um, so hopefully we can get a bit of filming on that instead of just drinking beers and having a good time. But if that's what happens, that's what happened. But um, thanks again for supporting us. Um, and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.